I wanted y'all to see this, and I've run into this before, not with just this brand or this model. We were having a problem with this Viking board, uh, seeing the limits on this G5 arm. Heck, it won't even properly identify uh, the correct motor model on this board. Uh, so we disconnected all our connections for the motor control and the limit control, and then we ohmed out all the wires, and we found out there's a partial short between, what was it, Trevor, the brown and, red. yeah, brown and red, and brown and another one. And typically what you'll find is, sometimes they come in here on these strain reliefs on the bottom of these uh, machines, they'll over crimp them and they'll damage part of the wiring in there. And we're about to find out by opening it up. So we, so we removed this harness, pulled it out of its strain relief, cut it uh, back behind the strain relief and reinstalled it. And then the operator gave us the right, uh, I mean the control board gave us the right model number. It told me it was a G5 or X9 on the screen. And see right now, uh, it actually thinks the, it's seeing the limits now to this actuator. And I didn't have to process the board for warranty. We didn't have to process the motor assembly for warranty. It just somebody got a little, a little carried away on tightening down this cable gland, otherwise known as a strain relief, and damaged some of the wiring internal to the cable. So we were able to get that resolved in the field in, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Helpful things to know.